Hey guys, this is Eve Scrapbooking with me, and we're going to use a bunch of scraps today to make a card front. Now, I don't know if anybody else does this like I do, but a lot of times I'll just make my card front, and then later on when I get ready to mail it, I'll put it on the card base. So a lot of times I'll have a lot of card fronts made up, and then when I get ready to use one, I'll just put it, glue it down to the card base, and then I'm finished. But this is going to be a card front. It's going to be a 5x7 card. So this piece is 5x7. This one is 5 and 3 quarters by 6 and 3 quarters. And we're going to glue that down there. And these are just all out of my scraps. I like to try to use up my scraps as much as I can to make cards. Because if you're like me... Over the years, you collect lots and lots of scraps. And do that down right there. And then I have two pieces. This is just a little bit of a design paper. As you can see, it's got some stripes in it. And that's green. This is, let's see what size this is. This one is cut at two and a quarter by five, and then this one is cut at two and a half by five. And we're going to glue these together just like that. We're going to leave a little border around there. And this is a very, very old scrap that I've had forever. I just dig down in my scraps and find some pieces that kind of go together. You know, they don't have to match perfectly because they're homemade cards. And a lot of times, if they don't match perfectly, it's even prettier. Okay, this one is going to glue down right here close to the bottom. Just about like that. Leaving just about a half an inch down at the bottom. And I'm going to glue it all the way down. like that and then I have a piece that was cut and I didn't even cut it down it was already cut to the width this was four and a half by five and a quarter now the five and a quarter it's going to be a little bit short To go down through here as you can see it's a little bit shorter than the white but we're not going to worry about that we're going to leave it and all i'm going to do is i'm going to trim this side off just about a half of an inch so this is how i make up my cards lots of times we're going to take about a half an inch off of that and then i'm going to lay this white piece because i want it on top and i want it to have a little bit of a border and then I'm just going to mark with my tool here about where I want to cut that. Make a little indention there and a little indention there. That's where I want to cut it. And then I'll tell you what size this is if you just want to cut your pieces down to match this. Okay, let's see if that works. Yes, that works. So that's going to go right there. So this piece is cut down to 4 inches by 5 and a quarter. And then this one is cut at 3 and a quarter by 5 and an eighth. Now you, if you don't want to do the eighths, you could make it 5 and that would be fine. So we're going to put that down. We're going to glue that down just like that. And I'm just going to glue it flat down because I'm going to put dimensions on something else. So we're going to put this one flat. Just like that. So we're leaving just a little bit of that vine. And this is from the Martha Stewart 
and it just looks like a little vine. I don't know what the name of it is, but I will try to find it and link it below. And then we're going to glue that right there, just like that. So we're going to glue this piece down. And you, don't, you just want to glue it, leaving a little bit of that pink showing around there. Just like that. See, our scraps are coming together. <laughs> All right, now I have cut just some ovals out, and I you can use your oval punch, whatever. These, are, these ovals are about, looks like an inch and a half. And we're going to make a flower out of these ovals. And I'm just going to lay them down here before I try to glue them just to make sure that they're going to lay where I want them. And this was another scrap piece. If you recognize this, this was what we made a, I think a card out of the other day. So, put that there. And then I've just cut a little piece of that brown that's on the background there. And we're going to put that right up there. And that's going to be a little flower petal. So we're going to put these on some pop dots. So you just press those down and press it down lightly in the beginning and then you can always move them around and then we're going to take this and I'm probably going to put this on two pop dots because we want it to uh, stand up a little bit to show that it's our center. We're going to put that right there. Isn't that cute already? And then we need to make a little stem for our flower. And I'm just going to take that little piece that I trimmed off here and I'm just going to cut it at a little bit of an angle. glue that down there. Right, and then I think this needs a couple of leaves. So we're just going to put a leaf right there. And then another one right down there. So we'll just make put these up on pop dots too. And this these leaves are just cut from this punch. Uh, it's called birch leaf. I know this is not a birch tree, but we're going to use it. So, did those like that. Then I have a stamp that just says thanks, and this comes from a May May stamp set. And let's see what it's called. It's called Just to Say. And we're going to emboss this one. I'm going to put it on this brown cardstock. And use some Versamark. Now what I did first is I put my chalk down on there so that this, my embossing powder won't stick everywhere. And I'm just going to press that down, just like that. Then we're going to take some Ranger. This is white embossing powder. And you 
just need to make sure that it's covered really well. And I just knock off the excess. Then just heat your tool up, make sure that it's getting hot before you put it to the embossing. And then just move it back and forth. And I usually go on the back side too, just go on both sides. And you emboss or you heat it until it changes colors. And then you know that you've got it. Just like that. See, it's good and shiny. So that means it is embossed. This is one of the Nouveau spoons. I love that. You don't waste your embossing powder when you do that. And you get very little off on your paper. So, now I'm going to take a Stamp It Up punch. And this is just a label. Of a label punch and I'm going to punch this out hopefully getting it in the center just like that and then I have a circle that I just or this is an oval that I just punched out using this punch and I'm not sure what this one is but I will try to find it and link it for you and we're going to mix an oval with that. I think that will look cute. So I'm going to put this flat down, I think. And then this we'll put up on pop dots. And now to just put a few pieces of bling, and we've got our card front finished. And there you go. A quick and easy card, but now you have a card front to put on a card base when you get ready to mail it out. So isn't that cute? And I used up lots of scraps, which is, which is good. I need to get scraps out of my stash. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that little bell when that little bell pops up so that you'll be notified when we put up new videos. Also, I'm going to put the link below if you want to join our kit club. There are May May stamps made exclusively for our kit club. Now, she will have these stamps in her store later on. They will not be the same stamps that you get in your stamp club if you are in her stamp club. They're made directly for our kits. So she's making that. She's looking at our kits, what we're putting together, and they're making stamps directly for us. So we get the first run, and then after that, she'll probably have some of them for sale in her store. But I wanted to let you know, all of the February kits are sold out. They are in, in the house, as a matter of fact. And they will be going out the first week in February. And then, if you want to sign up now, though, to make sure that you get in line for the March kits, make sure that you sign up, because there's only a certain amount of kits that we can get each month. To make sure that, you know, we have to order them way ahead of time to make sure that we get everything in stock so that it's ready to mail out by the 1st. So if you want to join the kit club, make sure that you go down and click that link, go over and join. And then we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.